Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which hit in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, it's most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC, the founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make him perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our bill to take for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 187 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Assassin. And now, finishing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. See him limping a little bit. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll suck the body. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next 
shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single follow-up shot. Left hand punch with the clinch. Hooks to the body now. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. So hold on to him, you're not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, and he connects there, pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Good jab. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. seconds to go. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast. Sometimes he can take them. The horn sounds for the end of round one. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we are, early round two. Inches right oh. now. He didn't like that left hand. Oh, nice right hand. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Immediately gets the underhook. All right, boy, tight clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one. A little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Sneaky head kick. Feel good. Oh! Kick oh, home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize. He's coming high, and now he's got a hurt bad. Lee's eyebrow got opened up on that shot. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Just missed with the left there. the body, it is blocked. Oh, big elbow. Left hand punch from the clinch. Just He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. He got him bad! Oh, he gets up. The question is for how long? All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical. Oh! What a fantastic... Oh! Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landed. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. 
Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground. Step for step, he's staying within the moment in every transition. Let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. that ended the fight. Let's go to Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at one minute, six seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by Knockout Assassin. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight. 